do you know we adopted the five year plan that we followed in india from russia and now we are actually very inspired from russian startup model and india is planning to adopt the same hi everyone welcome back to equipoise classes i am silvi gupta and today the topic we are going to discuss is how indians are being inspired by startup models in russia and how we are planning to adopt those so yeah i'll just quickly share the screen so that we can begin with the discussion of today yeah so i'll just adjust the screen a bit and then we can proceed so this is in mint and uh, i have shared this mint uh, pdfs on the telegram link where's the telegram link in the description box below so the first link is of telegram group you can go and join the telegram group and i've shared the pdf of this newspaper uh, in that group so you can go and access that newspaper a uh, pdf all right so this is the uh, discussion point that how a russian startup model is inspiring india so commerce minister piyush goel recently proposed developing dedicated townships for startups in india so you have to make note of the keywords that we are planning to uh, develop a dedicated township for startups so they could significantly boost ecosystem in the country the startup ecosystem offering infra the, so the townships are offering in infrastructure and resources that a startup needs to flourish and thrive okay because a startup you know you may have an idea but you need other resources as well to flourish into uh, you know grow so uh, the township will make sure that you have access to all those things so that is what we are planning and this idea has been taken from russia uh, it became important for me to study this why because uh, we as i said we adopted the five year planning system also from russia so this is a key point of discussion that what has been going on regarding startups so the first question is what are startup townships because you have understood uh, you have understood the keyword that okay there's startup and township so you need to know that what is a startup township okay the idea comes from russia where the government develops dedicated townships they include uh, so you know there are different different names you can read give it a read because i may be pronouncing them wrong so i would not want to do that so this innovation center near moscow then inopolis near uh, kazan and uh, then this particular name uh, valley techno park in samara region so there have been different different dedicated township in different regions uh, for startups this is in russia okay so in russia startups must register with the government so uh, startups to begin they must register themselves with the government and once they are registered with the government they are allocated space within these townships so as we read there are three four different different townships of startup and uh, once uh, you know this happens that the startup gets registered with the government the government allocate them a dedicated space in this township okay the space is offered either for rent or purchase so the government says that okay this is the space you can either rent it or you can purchase it this approach which minimizes the challenge of securing affordable work space because uh, if you see in india if you want to start a startup and if you want to uh, get your own office or do it offline so uh, the rent is so huge and uh, the cost if you go on purchasing then so it's uh, next level only so we don't get things or infrastructure or resources at affordable rate so the russian government is making sure that they allocate a space within this township so that it becomes affordable for the startup owner to uh, you know get those resources and start doing their business all right so uh, yeah the uh, okay so this has allowed russian startups to flourish the country has over 21500 of them so this since the time that this thing has began so this has actually uh, led a huge development of startups in russia and as you can see the startups the number of startups have grown so what exactly is india planning okay we know that what are the startup townships now what are we planning we've seen russian model what are we planning townships of up to 500 acres each township of 500 acre which is a huge land are being planned to bring together entrepreneurs okay innovators and investors all in the one town and under the one township plan so that or within the one township plan so that everybody is there every resources accessible they can access critical resources mentors and facilities under one roof 
okay uh, the plans were outlined last week by minister goyal uh, piyush goyal ji and uh, during the launch of the bharat startup knowledge access registry bhaskar so you should know this full form bhaskar ka theek hai bharat bha uh, then startup knowledge startup s knowledge bhaskar access registry okay this is bhaskar a platform for entrepreneurs investors mentors and policy makers the townships will be built by the national industrial corridor development corporation the government has also approved the development of 12 industrial smart cities in 10 states so 12 industrial smart cities in 10 states so that is what our government is planning this is what india is planning okay where will these townships be located ab kahan locate hongi the startup townships are likely to be established near existing hubs such as bengaluru delhi and mumbai so i think this was a guess even before reading ki this 500 acre and where the startups flourish so these first will be built in bengaluru delhi and mumbai okay these are the key centers of technological and entrepreneurial uh, activities by situating these townships close to the established ecosystems the government hopes to foster collaboration between seasoned entrepreneurs and emerging startups all right then what could be india's first step what could be india's first step consultations so india's first step consultations are on between the department for promotion of industry and internal trade and stakeholders such as technical institutions iit madras and bombay and industry bodies so there should be you know the people who have flourished who are there who know about startups they should be consulted by the government and the consultation should take place to develop a good township and foster growth all right the idea is to ensure that the township are designed with the feedback from those who understand the need of the startup ecosystem dpiit may also work with financial institutions to conduct feasibility studies and develop a funding plan one idea is to develop the townships as public private partnership because uh, if it is entirely public then government may have loopholes in inter, uh, you know there would be red tapeism there would be corruption and there would be many things so that could be a problem and entirely private would be only focus with profit making so that is also that is also something that doesn't make entire sense so i think public private partnership is the best idea to begin with how has the india fared with startups so startup india so abhi tak startup ke sath india ne kaise deal kiya hai the startup india program uh, launched in 2016 has contributed to the success of more than 146000 startups that's at least one government claims theek hai the center operates several digital platforms some of these are startup india investor connect portal national mentorship portal marg mentor marg ka full form kya mentorship advisory assistance resilience growth startup india showcase and startup india seed fund so these are all online platform digital platforms to help startups All right, India is the world's third largest startup ecosystem behind. So India has third largest. Okay, behind the first largest, the first, the the largest actually, the largest startup ecosystem is in United States, then in China, and then third is India, followed by India. All right. So this was the discussion. This is just something that I believe we should know. Uh, that how we are planning to grow with the startups and how we are planning to. bring something new in the startup model uh, and how we are borrowing or following a model that inspires us from different country because it's good if something is good is happening in another country why not follow that model for your own growth and for your own sake so i believe it's the best thing that we can do and with that we have come to an end of this video and i really hope you liked it and uh, do share your feedback how are you liking these videos and uh, Uh, even though i'm getting a lot of good feedback and thank you so much for those of you who are uh, conveying your messages to me that even though you don't belong from economics but still you're enjoying the videos on this channel means means a lot to me so thank you so much and i'll see you tomorrow with another one till then take care spread happiness keep smiling stay healthy and